Okay, the finals is literally just starting and apparently it got like pushed back an hour. I'm pretty sure I didn't do my math incorrectly because they set an alarm for 4 a.m. and then it said like one more hour so I got an extra hour of sleep. So it's five, not too bad. I have some chicken legs on the side for me because I ordered some rotisserie chicken yesterday and delicious mango juice. God, the freaking chicken leg is so juicy and tender when I got it. It was so delicious. Okay, best of luck to Virtus Pro. I will be cheering them on. Happy as well to this awesome crowd here in Bucharest. They can actually greet that PGL Dota Major Champions. Let's give a huge round, guys. Virtus Pro, they are your champions. Two majors in a row, three zero. Ramsey. He just hands it off like I don't want this. Uh oh, stream always lags when this fucking confetti is in the air. I tried to trim her paws, so you see the difference. Look how hairy it is, and then look what I did. But the thing is, it's actually really annoying trimming paws, especially if I have to do four feet. So I just decided this is really not an issue, so I'm gonna leave it at that. But look how freaking prime paw, just so clean. Oh man, my stomach is grumbling. I suck at this food life. But anyways, I uh, <laughs> I randomly earlier today got super, super antsy about my hair because I definitely <laughs> started to like grind on me a little bit that I was just trimming randomly the other day. So it was like uneven and stuff and then I just would notice like shorter pieces and it just being kind of totally disorganized so i decided to really badly for some reason really badly wanted to get my hair cut today so i called a bunch of salons until i finally found one that was open that i thought was reasonably priced but at the same time you know what I, I don't know if i want to worry too much about price because a lot of the places around here are 45 dollars and up but some of them weren't open on Sunday and um, or they were booked full so the haircut I just got costed $65 which is quite a lot but I did like the hairstylist she seemed like she took a lot of time on my hair so she would take like little sections and trim from the middle because um, sometimes there are split ends from the middle but she did recommend that I should not cut my hair um, for a while because I saw off this YouTube video this girl said that she was trimming her hair every single month and growing it out at the same time so I don't know if that's entirely possible because you grow she said you grow half an inch to an inch every month and if I'm trimming I'm pretty much cutting that length off so that's why for the past six months I have not grown any length at all and I want long hair so I'm going to uh, try my best to not um, take better care of it I guess maybe buy some stuff to leave it in and moisturize it and keep it healthy if possible uh, yeah I, I am pretty hungry <laughs> earlier I was really really tempted to deliver myself some Panera salad oh, I'm gonna try to fight that feeling I have some chicken at home, but it's literally, I'm only gonna be eating chicken. So I don't know if that will satisfy me, but I also have a date with Dota. I love when she falls asleep. Oh no, I woke her up. But I love it when she just goes to sleep really quickly. But it is a common thing. 
for me to put her on place while I am playing Dota. Good practice. Come here, puppers. Good. All right, so this is literally the first time, maybe like I've, I've made frozen fish before, but I decided to order some salmon. And honestly, I'm not too familiar. I'm literally just gonna cook this and put salt. I don't really think I'm gonna do much else. I'm kind of curious to see how well it'll taste if I just do that. I suppose at most I will remove the skin. Man, this is harder than it looked to get the skin off. Maybe I don't get the skin off because it's annoying. Okay, so I tend to only do very slight variations when it comes to what I cook. So yeah, since I tend to not be a fan of cleaning up my, uh, sorry, every single time I pause like that tends to be one of the pets. So the cats just ran by and I wanted to make sure that this one doing her really, really good down during cooking. But anyways, um, yeah, I, uh, I don't really like how the rice sticks to the pot after you do it or sometimes there's just like a lot of rice stuck to the side which is probably not as big a deal as I make it seem but oh my god cats keep running by but I do probably need to branch off from potatoes sooner or later because I've been eating potatoes every week for a while now I mean they are really a good filler and to be honest I really like potatoes and I never ate it much when I was growing up because there aren't really a lot of potatoes in Asian dishes, so my mom never made potatoes, but when she did, I loved it. Good evening, Sunday night. It is eight o'clock and... <laughs> I just finished watching Jumanji. You know, didn't have much of... I didn't have high expectations for this movie, so I kind of tried to just go into it to laugh. I did laugh a little bit, but overall I do think the movie is boring. Like the last 45, nah, I'd say the last hour kind of lost interest in. Yeah, you don't expect a movie with substance when you pick a movie like that. But on the other hand, oh, I've been meaning to talk about this, but completely forgetting. So. Yeah, no update on the egg donor situation. I actually got contacted by another agency that I might have filled out an application for a while ago and just kind of like forgot about it. So they reached out to me, said something like, we have Asian parents, Chinese parents in the SoCal area that are looking and that you might be a good fit. So I went through, filled out the application and submitted it to them. So I am technically active in two agencies right now. But the thing is, maybe it takes longer than I expect, but if she says that there are currently parents that are interested, I would be a little surprised that it's not anytime soon. The sheet she sent me describing this whole process said three to four months. So I do have to keep in mind that if I do plan on going to TI, I have to make sure like I can't to do an egg donor thing during that time window but honestly at this point I'm kind of feeling like it's not gonna happen so I I usually just try to forget that I am even um, active because it's just been quiet this whole time and then one more thing is that I actually feel really disappointed about my skincare so how long has it been I feel like it's been more than three months but I know my problem areas are always the sides of my face and honestly they are always still bumpy but it's not I feel like it's you know pimple bumps even if it's a subtle pimple I always have bumps on the side of my face so I uh, I mean I could try other products it's just sometimes I wonder if I really need to do it long term before I get results but honestly I don't I feel like if the product works for you, it should at least be noticeable results if you use it consistently, which I usually have been 
I'm honestly not sure. Um, I guess when I run out of my current products, I will try to purchase different ones because clearly the routine I'm using right now isn't working. Another idea I did have, even though I'm extremely lazy, is I could consider going to see a dermatologist. I honestly think that might be best just because it would be nice to know like what type of skin I have. I'm not very good at determining that at all. I do think I tend to be on the more oily side because yeah, I do feel like it getting oily after a long period of time. But I guess since I'm kind of self-conscious about my skin right now, I will go wash it before I sit down and read a bit more Hercule because I have been really wanting to read but been either watching Dota or just ending up on the computer. So time to go wash this dirty mask. All right, we're solid. So I am pretty much running low on this one. So let's get this on my face. Rub it in. I'm really sure to rub it in. Okay. All right, second cleanser and I'm running out of this one. I uh, might consider just trying a second foaming cleanser, a different one I mean. Ugh, damn it. I brought my towel to get washed in the washing machine. Now I'm gonna be dripping all over the place. Let me go get that towel. All right, next up, I last, so the last time I exfoliated was half a week ago. Feels like it's been a while, so I'm going to do that now with this. I still have quite a bit of this. And honestly, after I use it, I really do feel like my skin is much smoother with all those dead skin cells being scraped off. Oh, face feels great. Always feels really good after you exfoliate. So I do have to admit, there are times where I do wonder if we're just putting way really too much shit on our faces. And the thing is though, I don't wear any makeup, right? So that kind of disappoints me even further. I don't know if, um, I don't actually know if foundation or concealer is that bad for your skin, but I don't know. I just kind of figured like if I wear nothing except what I put on for my skincare routine, it just, Disappoints me a little bit that my skin isn't clear. Clearly I'm using the wrong products or something or There's something I'm missing if you think about diet. I mean, of course my diet isn't pristine healthy I think it's pretty good Compared to most people maybe I think so. I love salads Most people don't like salads and it would be the last thing they eat for pleasure. I eat it for pleasure. I love salads so Okay, I try to drink as much water. I think I do a decent job for water because compared to my coworkers, some of them don't even drink four ounces a day. They drink like Coke all day. Can you imagine that? Oh, I cannot imagine doing that. So anyways, I got the vitamin C juice thingy on my face. And now I'm just gonna end it with this snail cream. So lately, I have actually been just using this for a moisturizer instead of adding one last step because I actually really like the way this thing feels on my skin. It just feels very, I don't know, feels like jello being applied to your skin and it just feels really nice. I don't think I have the greatest skin in terms of the fact that I feel like it scars easily so it's probably very fragile. I don't know if that has anything to do with facial skin, but for sure, I know I have scars on here, like dark marks. Dark marks is not something that I'm really concerned about. Like over here, I have this dent in my face under my eye. I, don't, I hope you can see that. If not, I can take a picture if it's not clear. But anyways, my parents said that this is from chicken pox, I think. I probably picked it picked something and I have um I think I also have bad skin over here because when I was um maybe young teenager or yeah I'd say young teenager I had a lot of 
I have a lot of birthmarks. You see one on my neck here. I have one like around my side, under my armpit. I tend to have a decent amount. And I had several black ones over here. So we would go to New York City and she would get laser removal done on it. I'll keep trying. I'll replace products as I use them up and try something new, I guess, until I find something I really like. My poor pups. She had an accident. So since I went to personal training today, I wasn't able to come home for lunch. And I might have let her drink a little bit too much water, which was definitely probably my fault. I do think ideally, if I need her to be in the crate that long, I shouldn't give her water beforehand so she's not like destined to fail. So this does suck. Um, smells not so great. And I'm going to have to take her out to bathe her and clean her crate. So let's see if I can drag the crate out without her coming out so she's not stepping with her pee-stained paws all over my floor. But yeah, once in a while as a dog owner, you will have to come back to this. And in the past, when I was very bad with my temper, hey pups, please don't lick your, don't lick the floor. Don't lick the floor. In the past, when I was uh, very bad at controlling my temper, I would be very angry at her for having an accident. So I do think I have come a long way because when I come back to this, I do have that instinct of more like wanting to, you know, help remedy the situation and recognize that it was partially or m mostly my fault for not uh, restricting her water intake on a long crate day. So I need to bathe her now. I just got back inside from washing her and I think it's so interesting how she's like in such a good mood. Puppers. <laughs> wow, you're all wet and everything. Ah, so kind of sucks. I had to um, <clears throat> wash her crate. I mean, I do have two. I have one in the car that I can bring in for her to use tomorrow because I, uh, I don't know if it's laziness or just wanting the water to dry out naturally. So I'm hoping the crate will dry out tomorrow and then I will spray it down with an enzyme cleaner so there's no uh, pee smell lingering around because I have noticed that if I am very, or if I skip the enzyme cleaner step then she will have an accident like later on and I've, I was always like what the heck she should not be having accidents because she really shouldn't if I'm, um, if I'm on top of my game. She usually doesn't. She goes months without having accidents. <laughs> Puppers, speak. Good. I'm sorry. I feel bad that she was just sitting in her own piss for a while. But yes, after the enzyme cleaner, I'll spray it down, let it sit for a while, and then maybe rinse it off one more time before I let her back in there so she's not actually sitting on just the cleaner. Like, I want to rinse it off. So the whole crate cleaning process is actually quite long. She also had like, if you see her nose, you see how it's like kind of rubbed weird? Damn, is this so dirty? It might just be, wow, so why is it so dark? But she had like yellow piss on her snout. So I actually had to put some soap on her nose and where are you going? Hey, I had to put some soap on her nose and then clean it up. Which is actually, you know, that part of the dog is very awkward to wash because I don't want to get soap and rinse off the water on her face. Like, it's hard to do because they will be struggling a lot. So hopefully, hopefully it's clean now, but her face does smell a little weird because I don't tend to wash her face. It's a hard place to wash, but I am going to put this dirty towel in the hamper to be washed later. It's a wet dog and f wiping my feet into hers. Dog ownership, man. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs>